Hey guys, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to play some Star Stable. Now we're going to be talking to Councilman today. Let's get started. Governor? Wait, one more thing. Something that needs enclosure. It's been quite a while, but I received official charges against JD. The big shots in Gorbeck want me to deliver it to Mr. Kemble, but I have a lot to do here in Silverglade. And I know how much you like to do things to annoy Kimball. What could possibly be annoy possibly possibly annoy him more than you de delivering the charges against him in person? I'm sure Mr. Kimball is just standing there, there at his oil drill north of when you're feeling miserable. Let's go. All right, guys, we are here. Mr. Kimball. Ah, you again, you crazy girl. Okay, uh, I'll look at the document. Arg. Is it stopping or what's going on? Girl, it says that Yarvik City is charging me with fraud related to tenancy ten agreement. They think they can prove it. I've been using stolen oil, drilling equipment that is. This is a disaster and mad. This is all your fault, okay? You win. I'm out of here for now. I found a new site where I can drill and search for natural resources of this stupid island, and this is far away from you and your stupid horse. Let 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 the Yorba Council know that this is far from over. And when I and when I win this case in court, I'm gonna I'm going to come back here and blow Silverlead right off the island. You might be young, you may be too young to remember, but check out what I did to Hillcrest. This is not the last time you'll hear from me, Olivia. Sure. Let's go talk to the councilman. Alright, we are back. Whoa, he really was a he really was angry. Mr. Kimball should watch his blood pressure. Haha, <laughs> let's hope that Warwick City has what it takes to make the cha charges stick. Mr. Kimball is a dangerous man. When he's angry and has the law on his side, he has law on his side, but it's great to get, be, get, it's great to be get rid of him. And for the time being, thank you for your, all your help, Olivia. Hillcrest was unfortunate. was unfortunate affair. It, once, it was once a beautiful mountain town south of Moreland G, uh, GD. Turning into a big hole in the ground. Both the town and the mine have, both the town and mine have long since abandoned, been abandoned, and it was a terrible shame what had happened there. What can we do now? I guess we're gonna go to Fort Pinta. See you guys there. Alright, so you we are here. Olivia, Olivia, I'm so happy to see you. I need your I need help. It's all it's all a disaster complete misery. Somebody has falsely accused me, but I didn't do it. Apparently being innocent doesn't matter because the Forpinta administrator is on his way to give me an official warning. It is a conspiracy. You have to tell them that I'm an honest and generous soul who would never hurt anybody. Don't look at don't look so spectacle, Olivia. I've told you I'm I'm not I'm not doing this quest line. No, we're not doing this. Let's do this one. Okay, Olivia, you can borrow my camera, but only because it's you. But as soon as you are done, please give the camera back to Derek, who works at the post office. And suddenly, Derek wants to borrow the camera, too. You see, I might even be able to print out. I might even be able to print out your photos. I've been. I've heard they have that kind of equipment at the post office. Photograph the painting in the castle, leave the camera with Derek. Oh, we already started this? I don't know. I guess we did. I guess we already started stuff for the Golden Hill. Let's see you guys at the castle. I'm very upset that we didn't I didn't start it. That I started it, but I didn't realize I did it off camera. I started this before start. I started it before I record, started recording her chant or videos for her account. 
Alright, I'll see you guys I'll see you guys when I get up there. Haha, I finally get to borrow James' camera. I'm actually an excellent photographer. Before I started working at the po at the post office, I used to be to take pictures for several big fashion magazines. I actually took the first photo of Anne when she went back to school in Yorvik. Went to school in Yorvik. I see you want me to print out your photo. Of course, I'll print it for you. I'll even do it for free. We naturally charge 15 over shillings per print. Zip, ready, what a great photo of, uh, a painted key, so nice. Derek is so judgy. Hmm. That was fast, and what a great picture. I have been standing here thinking about what could possibly make a key with only a photo to go by. But I think of any, I think of anyone, but we don't have a locksmith here. Any suggestions? The gold, the blacksmith at Port at Moorland. Of course, I forgot that. I forgot that. Good thinking. Conrad Marston in Moorland is a, is a real owned blacksmith. It's great that you thought of him. Take the photo, the photo with you. Ask him if he can make any copies of the key. I hope everything goes well in Golden Hills Valley. Make my regards to Claus. When you speak to him, why don't you open the gate? Why don't you open the gate this year? Alright, we'll see you in the morning. Alright, guys, we are here. Hmm. Olivia, a long time no see. You wanna know if I can make a copy of a key? A key to the city? Okay. The end justifies the means. I suppose I'll help you so that we can find out what goes on over in Golden Hills Valley. I need iron to make the key. You already know there is iron in the mine just south of here. South bus of here. Take my pickaxe and ride over to the mine to go get some. I'll get started, I'll get started when, you're, when you get back. Wonderful, you have done wonderful. You have done this before, so you are getting good at it now. This may take a while, but if you help me with the first phase of foraging, it will be faster. At least you'll get a practice of your blacksmithing skills. Who knows, someday you might be a real blacksmith apprentice. It's not sometimes I'll, I'll want you to work on the iron on the anvil with the hammer, and sometimes I'll want you to work to heat iron in the forge with the tongs, and sometimes I'll want you to cool the iron in the bucket of water. I'll tell you what I want you to do when timing is of the essence. If, if you get it wrong, we'll just start all over again. Remember, you'll need to take off your horses. You'll have to get off your horse when do when we do the foraging. And put your horse some, in some distance from us so we have room to work. But lucky start at some distance from us so we have enough room to work. Here are some tongs hammers that's ready to use them. You're certainly a talented apprentice, I must admit. I'm sure you could be a great blacksmith someday if you put your mind to it. Now I'm going to finish the key and then iron needs to rest until tomorrow to set. Come back tomorrow and the key should be ready. 